One copper wire triples your harvest? The secret garden hack big agriculture hates. Imagine walking into your garden and seeing your plants grow faster, stronger, and healthier without any fertilizer, chemicals, or complicated equipment. A single, simple copper wire buried in your soil can quietly transform your crops, boosting yields in ways that seem almost impossible. But it's not magic. It's a lost science that, for reasons we'll explore, was almost erased from history. Today you'll learn exactly how to use this method safely and effectively in your garden. Every garden sits within an invisible river of energy flowing between the sky and the soil. This natural electrical field exists constantly, humming quietly around your plants. While sunlight, water, and nutrients are obvious, most gardeners never consider this subtle energy. Leaves, stems, and roots interact with it every day, using tiny electrical signals to coordinate growth, respond to stress, and communicate internally. Plants are natural conductors. Microscopic structures on their leaves and stems collect charges from the air, sending them down to the roots. This forms a living electrical network that plants rely on for growth, defense, and adaptation. If you amplify this network gently, you can enhance what the plant already does naturally, making it stronger and more resilient. That's where the copper wire comes in. A bare copper wire placed in the soil acts like a passive antenna. It does not shock your plants, it does not inject energy artificially, and it requires no batteries, electricity, or maintenance. Its role is simple. It provides a more efficient pathway for the natural energy flowing from the atmosphere into the soil, allowing plants to tune in to the environment more effectively. The shape of the wire is crucial. Straight rods work, but spiral-shaped wires collect and focus atmospheric energy far more efficiently. A loose spiral, approximately 12 to 18 inches in diameter with 3 to 5 turns, amplifies the natural energy in the soil and roots. Orientation matters as well. The spiral should be aligned with the natural magnetic flow from north to south. When done correctly, this small intervention allows your plants to access energy they've always had but never fully utilized. Begin with a length of 14 gauge bare copper wire. Cut it to roughly 12 to 18 inches, depending on the size of the spiral you want. Shape it into a flat spiral, keeping the inner coils tighter and the outer coils slightly looser. This shape isn't just aesthetic, it's functional. The spiral gathers energy across a wider area and channels it downward into the roots more efficiently than a straight rod. All right, next up, you'll want to use a simple compass to align your spiral with magnetic north. This orientation, you know, ensures that the spiral sits directly in the natural energy currents flowing through your garden. Go ahead and insert the spiral about 10 to 15 centimeters into the soil, just so the top barely peaks above the surface. Place it roughly 10 to 20 centimeters from the base of your plants, maybe a bit farther for the big crops like tomatoes or squash, and a little closer for those leafy greens. Once you've got it installed, there's really no need for any extra power or chemicals. Your plants will actually begin responding to the enhanced energy right away, showing subtle but consistent improvements in growth, stress resilience, and overall vigor. For the best results, it's a good idea to monitor plant height, leaf color, and flowering progress every couple of weeks. And even if you don't see dramatic overnight changes, this simple setup will give you steady, cumulative benefits throughout the season. Plants, believe it or not, communicate electrically within themselves. Tiny voltage pulses, called action potentials, travel through their stems and leaves to coordinate defenses and growth. For instance, when a caterpillar starts chewing on a leaf, these signals trigger distant leaves to produce protective chemicals almost instantly. Sunlight orientation, water stress, and nutrient uptake, all of these are influenced by these subtle electrical cues. 
By introducing a copper spiral, you are enhancing the plant's internal electrical network. The spiral acts as a conductor, improving energy distribution within the root zone. This allows plants to optimize nutrient absorption, strengthen cell structure, and recover more quickly from environmental stressors like heat, drought, or pests. Essentially, you are giving the plant a tool it already needed but never had, quietly boosting its natural capabilities. This is passive electroculture. Unlike high-voltage experimental setups, it poses zero risk to gardeners, pets, or children. It requires no electricity, no chemicals, and no costly maintenance. Once the copper spiral is in place, it can remain for years, quietly enhancing the electrical environment for every planting season. The method is sustainable, safe, and perfectly suited for backyard gardens, raised beds, or even container plants. The beauty of this system lies in its simplicity. It does not replace healthy soil, water, or sunlight. Instead, it amplifies the plant's ability to use these resources efficiently. You will notice deeper green leaves, stronger stems, better flowering, and sometimes reduced pest activity. But the method works best when paired with good gardening practices. Well-prepared soil, proper irrigation, and balanced nutrition. For a small garden bed that's roughly 2 meters by 2 meters, one spiral per plant is usually sufficient for those larger crops. Now, for leafy greens or smaller vegetables, spacing spirals every 30 to 50 centimeters will provide consistent energy coverage. There's no need to dilute anything with water. This is, you know, a dry, passive system. The copper itself is really the conduit. The natural electrical field does all the work. If your garden covers 20 square meters or more, just replicate the same spacing in rows or clusters and make sure to keep everything aligned with magnetic north. For container plants, a single 12-inch spiral per pot is enough to see a noticeable difference. Make sure it sits near the root ball but, well, doesn't crowd the plant. For those larger pots, you might want to use a slightly bigger spiral or maybe two smaller spirals on opposite sides to improve coverage. Consistency is key here. Every plant benefits from its own tuned connection. After you've installed your copper spirals, improvements are, honestly, subtle but cumulative. You can expect earlier flowering, fuller leaves, stronger stems, and of course, healthier root systems. Plants will also show better resilience to environmental stress, like heat, wind, or pests. Over several growing seasons, the garden becomes more vibrant, yielding more consistent harvests without extra inputs. While the results may not produce enormous novelty vegetables overnight, the overall productivity and plant health will be noticeably improved. This method encourages patience and observation. Gardening is a relationship, and passive electroculture allows you to listen more closely to what your plants need. Your attention to soil quality, watering, and placement will complement the spiral's effects, creating a garden that thrives naturally. For decades, this science remained largely unknown. Its simplicity, cost-effectiveness, and ability to boost yield without purchased inputs threatened traditional agricultural models that relied on fertilizers and chemical sales. This low-cost passive system didn't generate profit, so it quietly disappeared from mainstream practice, even though it worked reliably when applied correctly. Today, rediscovering this technique gives gardeners an edge. It allows you to grow healthier, more resilient crops without relying on external chemicals or expensive interventions. It reconnects your garden to the natural forces it was always meant to use. Now that you understand the principles and setup of passive electroculture, it's time to put it into practice. Gather your copper wire, shape it into a spiral, orient it correctly, and plant it near your crops. Observe the subtle changes, take notes, and adjust placement as you learn what works best for your space. This is more than a gardening trick. 
It's a way to tap into nature's hidden energy and enhance plant growth sustainably. If you're excited to try it, spread the knowledge, share your results, inspire fellow gardeners, and help bring this lost science back into the spotlight. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to Soil and Crops Central and share it with other gardeners. Every spiral placed is a step toward a more abundant, natural, and empowered garden.